Today, we are thankful for the chance to adjust accordingly to queuing for New Year's Prosecco at the vineyard. Thinking of others, picking up an extra bottle, leaving it at a neighbor's door with a note and a tin of homemade blueberry muffins. We still, through all this, have very little. A few weeks ago, a room of women met to learn to sew, urge fabric under presser feet run into the corner to sip water through a straw slid under a mask. They dream of wearing dresses they made out for cocktails, getting to tell a stranger how they didn't buy it in Topshop or Debenhams before their big going out of business sales. In April, I began greeting cows on my walks when they'd trot towards the gate where I stood, even if there was someone else with me. Back in the city, I think of those cows often, standing on frosty hillsides of rural South Down. We keep ourselves to ourselves so much these days. I crave the rush of friendly, soft faces and sunlight. Tomorrow morning, we will all check the weather, see the sunshine bouncing off frost on rooftops, and know that we are not yet lost. <laughs>